In this video, we're going to break down the most unbelievable legendary comeback match from the 2022 VCT champions, DRX vs Furia. Let's find out exactly how it happened. But first, I want to thank Valon Tracker for sponsoring this portion of the video. You know those animes where the main character has a companion weapon that grows with them during their journey? Well, let me tell you, the Valorant version of that is definitely Valon Tracker. Because while you're ranking up, you can be sure that Valon Tracker is also leveling up with you. Yes, the Tracker app just had a giant update. You now have access to your performance metrics based on each map. The live match page has also been revamped. My favorite part is that the real-time performance scoreboard just got explosively cooler. You can now see clutches, headshots, and casts for every single player in your live match. With all this information and more at the palm of your hands, you now have the power to take your gameplay to the next level. So download Valon Tracker for free using my link in the description below. Furia on a full buy, but because they did so much damage to DRX's economy last round, look at DRX's weapon loadout. A Spectre, a Judge, three rifles, and only two players have full armor. This is all DRX can afford, a broken half buy. But they're down 40-11, two rounds away from death. They need to make this buy work. Furia opened with 4B lobby and 1 top mid. They look like they want to do a B split, but is that their actual plan? DRX opened with a 1-2-2 setup. They have a crossfire setup in mid, which is great at shutting down mid pushes. Also, these two players mid have a very fast rotation to the B site. So DRX are actually set up to receive a B split. Let's see how the round plays out. The barriers drop, Furia smokes off arches. The smoke denies info from DRX's mid players and threatens a cat hit from Furia. Not only that, because the smoke placement is towards the defender side of the arches, this gives Furia a lot of angles to peek out of if they want to push up mid. This is a scary opening default smoke. But Furia aren't moving, they want to play it slow. They've got a Killjoy alarm bot holding the A push, a turret top mid and a smoke arches to maintain mid control, and 4 players B lobby grouped up as a firing squad. Furia are just holding map control right now, waiting to see if DRX make an aggressive push. Arby throws a cross map KO knife that lands on the roof of B main. The knife scans 2 Furia players. Jetsy entry kills the initiator. These two agents are core to an execute, and both were detected in B main. DRX is thinking, this really smells like a B hit. They want to confirm it. Stacks Fei eyes B main. It gets instantly broken. Zest silver recons mid. The recon sees nothing. With mid clear for now, Zest shifts to look towards B main and Buzz starts shifting towards A. Furia know they've been spotted B and that Zest's recon saw nothing mid. So they call to keep showing presence B main but end with an A hit. Completely reset. We still yet to see Buzz come online at all. It, it's someone that we highlighted as Revealing basically one of the best players within this team. He had a poor previous tournament, but it looks like that hasn't gone. Like even going back over to the jet, but his comfort choice of agents, it hasn't fixed the issue on this defensive side. Buzz jumps off from CT and spots Digits in crossing mid towards Cat. Fury know the jig is up, they need to speed up their A hit before DRX rotate. They initiate their A split, 2 Cat, 2 A main, and 0 late lurking. Uses there for the attack, but th look, I have an excuse for the defense at runway. The guy hasn't got a lot of rounds to play with if they end up losing one or two, it's already over. Mako, up close, this judge hadn't been spotted. He's gonna be naded out of the corner! He still gets one before going down! A life for a life! Oh. Trades go through, it's a 3v2, numbers in favor of Furia. But Khalil and Quick are so low on health, DRX have a chance. Khalil starts to plant, but Zest was ready for it and unleashes his own vault to deny the plant. And ZR hears that, he knows Zest is focusing on ulting. This is the opening he's been waiting for. He's trying to hunt it down, both him and Quick just need one hit from it. But none land oh, no. and then Zest loses his life. Stacks in the 1v3, he knows both side players are low. He can win this if he pushes his side players before NZR regroups. Spike planted. Oh. He's needed again. Stacks came close earlier to having that first clutch of the tournament. Now placed into a 1v3 turn two. One of the players desperately low. The Nightfall's gonna give away his position. Down to just one. And zero. And zero wall bank stacks to secure the round. 12 to 4. Match point for Furia. DRX have their back against the wall. They are one mistake away from losing this match. And even if they do somehow find a win, it's extremely unlikely that they'll be able to do it for eight rounds in a row. But let's drop the copium, look at the buys. Fury are on a full buy while DRX are completely broke. Three pistols, one spectre, and one rifle is all they can afford. A huge weapons disadvantage for DRX and literally zero room for error. This game is over. 
But little do we know, we are about to witness a miracle, the stars aligning for history to be made. Furia opened with a 1-1-3 A heavy default. They want to passively hold map control B in mid while the majority of the team take A main control. DRX have worse weapons, they know they're guaranteed to lose if they let the round play out normally. So they call to 3 man push A main and double aggress B main. Aggression in the mains, this is DRX's final hope. But bad luck befalls them because it's a 3v3 in A main. The numbers are even, the weapons are not. Let's see how this goes. Of exactly when he gets hit, realizing he's under, winning the duel perfectly. Even still, Furia again end up with a round, and now they're up against pistols, but he got two. Huge kills. Traits actually go in favor of DRX. Zest recons, sees nothing. He knows no one is close. He wants Furia's rifles, so he starts walking up. But Furia also know that DRX want their guns, so Khalil and Quick both regroup a main, looking to punish DRX for their greed. Zest though gonna throw his drone out. The drone spots the last two Furia players. Stax and Buzz immediately start sprinting to make maximum use of his info. DRX double up on A. Stax playing containment and spawn. Furia have zero info right now. They're trapped in A lobby. But they're saying to each other, don't worry, DRX didn't pick up our guns. We still have the weapons advantage. This round is winnable. So Quick pops his killjoy ult, allowing Furia to get on the site. Stax activates and advances his flank. He picks up a rifle. As they get ever closer. Furia know there's a flanker now. The pressure is on. Solid to play with at least. Shop darts coming up and over. I don't think quick. Oh, he's actually slightly out of position for those. Perfect. I wonder whether that was a, an expected outcome. Either way, they've gotten themselves the plant, and now a 2v3. They win a lot of these, and they've already seen Buzz on the site, but nothing they can really do about that. Khalil is left alone, shut down. And against all odds, DRX find a thrifty round win, but they can't celebrate just yet. The scoreline isn't even close, and one mistake is all it takes for the game to end. Furia are full saving, DRX have a full buy. A little bit of breathing room for DRX, but it doesn't change the fact that they have no room for error. Furia start with 2 tiles, 2 top mid, and 1 A lobby. Digizen has his jet knives, Furia want to make a play mid with it. DRX start with a very standard spread. 2B, 1 mid, 1 cat, 1 A. Buzz is playing back gate in mid. It's a passive position that allows Buzz to fast rotate to either sites. So DRX's setup is weaker mid and heavier towards the sites, while Furia is opening with 4 mid. Let's see what happens. The barriers drop, Furia recon close arches, omen smoke cat. This is a standard mid control sequence for attackers. The smoke denies info from defenders playing cat, allowing attackers to take space mid. The silver recon scans close arches so attackers don't need to worry about the 50-50 angle. And Digizen immediately sprints a mid by himself. I never want stacks to stop trash talking, no matter no matter what happens. Sorry, hold Look on, Digizen just sprinted up with a blade storm. Oh, and he's caught by Buzz! But Buzz swings through the gate smoke like a maniac and backstabs Digizen. And the rest of Fury are just chilling. Furious plan was to launch digits in the mid to make it seem like they're doing a fast B hit to bait DRX into pushing out elsewhere on the map. And when DRX do, Furia would be posted and ready for it. But DRX calmly stood their ground, and Buzz actually swings through the gate smoke to catch digits in off guard. God knows where Buzz got that confidence from. Like, the man's literally 5 and 16, and he's making plays like that on the enemy's match point. But this may be exactly what DRX needs to come back. They need Buzz to come online. While that was happening mid, Stacks fade prowlers be main. The prowler sees nothing. This makes DRX think Fury were just making noise mid to hide their A hit. So Buzz rotates towards A. With Digis and dying and no signs of DRX pushing, the rest of Fury start walking up. Furia is calling to regroup for an A hit. I'm so far in this game, but Buzz has won the battle of the Jets and countered out one of the best players on the server, possibly in the tournament. Quick killed you towards A main. If anything, that was about to be the final round. Mazen kill knives deep tree. DRX respond by smoking off A main. Can't see them using much of... Presence is shown A main and cat. Fury are confident the noise was enough to draw DRX rotations towards A, so they take the spike and start walking up mid. Reduce the purchase that's going to be coming in. As Fury walk up mid, they open smoke garden. They want to keep the pressure up cat to conceal the real hit in market. Very close by to be able to help out. Almost looks like they're trying to sell a little bit of a ruse in towards A. That definitely does. But see. while Mazen was working tree, Kalil and NZR start making a lot of noise market. Mako doesn't see anything tree despite Garden being smoked, so he tells Buzz to leave A and help out mid. Fear is thinking, okay, we just made a ton of noise mid, we don't have much time, let's actually end A. So NZR Silva joins up market to sell the fake, while the rest of Furia, with only 30 seconds left, regroup to hit A. 
but Mako lasers down quick in Mazen. Kaleo OMTPs across the garden, away from Mako's line of sight. He's gonna get an insane flank on Buzz. <laughs> Expected. After that try on his step. But Buzz was aware of it, and he shoots the body a few times for the boost in confidence. Had no chance of that going undetected with so many players around. With barely any time left, NZR eventually dies to stacks. Furia call a timeout. Furia's coach is probably saying to the team, "Yo, guys, what the hell are you doing? You guys literally spent the whole round going A B A B A B A B until you ran out of time. No need to overthink it. Keep it simple and just shoot them. Remember, we only need one round." Listen, next round, let's do th Furia open with a 1-1-3 default. They know DRX might make an aggressive push somewhere, so they want to start off slow and be on the lookout for that. DRX open with a double cat setup. Buzz bought an op this round. So DRX's game plan is to get the op set up mid with their two initiators in position to support the op. But Furia have shown that they like to smoke either arches or cat on their mid defaults. If Buzz gets smoked off cat, DRX's mid setup crumbles. Let's see what happens. The barriers drop, fear smokes, arches. DRX's op is online. On the board, and they are starting to find a little bit of a rhythm to it. Buzz, you know, if he went out of this map with zero kills, he's gonna feel pretty bad. He's gonna feel a lot of pressure in the next one, but these last couple of rounds, he's been figuring it out, and that's the defensive buff. Beautiful peek from Digizen. He noticed that DRX could afford a nop, so instead of dry peeking and risk getting picked off, he updrafts to safely get info mid and baits out Buzz's op shot. Furia now know exactly where DRX's op is, but DRX don't want to give a mid control just yet. RB flashes mid, that Silver Recon's mid. So he kind of wants to go out and take that extra peek. Buzz is back on the mid angle. Almost holding it, but that dash is about to disappear. And so too will Buzz. Buzz is thinking, okay, I saw nothing mid on the re-aggress. Furia's probably trying to avoid the op. So I think they might be regrouping B main for a B hit. So Buzz rotates to pick up mid while Zest shifts onto B. But right as Buzz rotates off, Furia walk out mid. The timing could not be more perfect. Furia don't see Buzz posted on cat, so they have a read that Buzz probably preemptively rotated to B. So they call to end A, and the read is spot on. A is currently Durex's weak site. Still not a massive amount to play with. Hunter's Fury could potentially give them the opener, but again, we're just seeing Marco play deep within A long. He's been having quite a bit of success from this position and just placing the stars almost to try and set himself up. Digizen is just going to go past the utility though, almost running and gunning. The drone delayed close, so Marco's position hasn't been spotted. RB, however, has taken a nasty tag. Oh, they might have seen Mako's barrel just there. Maybe not. That flash possibly blinded them just enough. Mako up close, it's good for two. Huge play from Mako to isolate the A main players to dismantle Furious A split. But look at this wild situation. Two players of Furia are on site, one in A lobby. Mako is stuck alone in A main, surrounded by Furia. But the rest of DRX also have Furia contained. Realizing now though he's in trouble, they can come from either side. He's gonna duck himself into wine and hope his teammates can provide a little bit of cover, a little bit of a distraction. 20 seconds left and that spike has to be retrieved. The onus is on it. NZR, he's up close. This fight could determine it all. And the attackers are the ones to win it. A quick flank from Stax, but is it quick enough? 10 seconds on the clock. The spike needs to be planted. And he's got the angle. Spike dropped. Time is so low. They've got to put it down right now. It's being planted and no denial. They have just about gotten it. The 1v1 as Buzz tries to keep DRX alive. And he'll get it on the Blade Storm. Another lifeline for DRX as they hit seven. Fury is on their save round, and they know they've been playing it slow so far. It's time to change up the pace, catch DRX off guard. All five players start B main. Fury want to hit B fast. But DRX also have a hunch that Fury want to do something fast. So they open with two players on each site, mid completely open. Buzz off from Cat last round. This round, he's opping B main, right where the B hit is coming. DRX are ready for Fury's B hit. The barriers drop, Fury rush forward. They're rushing B! Smoke the choke! Smoke the choke! One quick pace out of Furia. They're already on the site. Well, if they can deal with Zest, that is. Three players coming down the alley. He's dropping off, trying to find a safe haven towards the back of the site. They're gonna waterfall, but with just pistols, they don't stand too much of a chance. Good kill, but damage taken. That makes it all too easy for Mako. Quick, the last man alive, Sheriff in hand. Two players to take down and not quite the weaponry for it. And DRX win their anti-eco round in just 27 seconds.
Both teams are back on full buys. DRX is starting to pick up momentum, but it doesn't change the fact that this is match point for Furia. Will Furia finally close out the game, or can DRX hold on to their momentum? Furia opened with a 3-2-0 default. They want to start off slow to hold for any DRX pushes. DRX opened with the exact same setup as last round. The difference is that Furia is now on a full buy. Let's see how this round plays out. The berries drop, Maz and KO knives be main. Buzz and Zest both dodge the knife. Zest responds with a recon be main. Arby's cross map KO knife also lands at this exact time. Both initiated utils see nothing. In mid, Furious smoked the deep mid choke. Mako is jump spotting mid from spawn and he comes to his team that he's been smoked off. And Zero Silver recons pizza. The recon sees nothing. But this doesn't tell Furious much since a mid player could easily hide from the recon if they're playing gate or deep market. But what the recon does is establish Furia presence deep mid. DRX feel the pressure. They have no info on what Furia are up to. So Zest drones be main for mid round info. The drone through, it's not gonna find anything. The drone sees nothing. This lets Buzz inch forward to get into an even more aggressive angle. Furia know they've avoided the drone, and they also know that DRX could have walked up behind the drone. So they post up B main, ready to punish any DRX aggression. Meanwhile, Stacks Fade Prowler's cat. The Prowler sees nothing. If you're DRX, you know that if B main and cat are clear, then Furia must be either heavily grouped up mid or A main. And at this exact moment, Furia drones up A main to clear it. DRX hear the drone, so RB flashes A main and it blinds the drone. No info given to Furia, but the drone presence was enough to cause DRX to shift towards A. And Furia seem to know this too. They're all regrouping for a B hit. The timing was was on point for when that dash was going to disappear. Expecting it to be popped at the start of the round for the short peak. And Buzz finds himself running away towards the back of the B side this time. They're not on him quite as run. quickly, but that's because they've got this lockdown to push them all the way back. Oh, oh, he's actually been caught out. That was a spam through the wall that's managed to clear Buzz. He was maybe trying to stick around a little bit too long. Khalil was going to clear the site, and it is going to have to be that retake. And look at Digis and go, but he's going to be punished this time. A chance to play the 5v4, but maybe getting a little bit greedy here. And as said, there are some solid retake pieces of util to get back in here. Uh, they've had success with those pieces of aggression before. I can understand these isn't going for it, but now the trouble having that one less player. RB though makes up for it with Mazin down and off angle for quick, but he doesn't find the kill. Again, an opportunity for DRX to get back in here on four versus two. The jump peak, what a spot! <laughs> DRX flies onto site and successfully retakes. Yeah, it's just what, lost like, that round. <laughs> what, what am I watching, bro? What a jump, everyone was jumping. Does everyone use mouse wheel? Is this some sort of new strategy? It may have looked like DRX were trolling, but they were definitely fighting to win. They fade out a natural ult for the retake, and NZR misses his op shot. DRX now know that Fury is opping on sight. Of course, they don't know that NZR actually dropped the op for a rifle. DRX take down quick and B main. It's now a 4v2 for DRX. They split up, two stairs, two lane. Mako jumps out to bait out the op shot and to throw off Furious cross replacement. He dies, but RB instantly gets a trade before also getting traded. 2v1, same thing in lane. Zest jumps out to break NCR's cross replacement and Stax swings for the trade. As chaotic as that was, it started off as a 4v2 and it turned into a 1v1 at the end. A lot closer than DRX would have liked it to be, but they survived to see another round. Furia is back on a save, but they have enough credits to purchase two Bulldogs. Digizen also has his Jet Knives this round. DRX need to stay alert. Furia are stronger than they seem. Furia start with 3 mid and 2A. They know they have worse guns, so they want to keep it simple and just execute a decisive A split. DRX open with a heavy mid setup. Their op is starting mid this time instead of B. Furious mid players need to be aware of this op. The barriers drop, Carlos smokes off Arches. Perfect, the smoke shuts down DRX's op. Buzz knows an Arches smoke means there's a high chance Furia may be looking to hit A through Cat, so he instantly rotates towards A. Mazin throws a KO knife Cat. The knife only scans RB, so Furia know DRX's op isn't Cat. Zest Silver recons mid for info. It scans Mazin and ditches and dashes forward, but couldn't escape their recon scan. DRX know at least two Furia players are mid. That's fine, Furia says. They call to continue with their game plan and split A. But little do they know, with Buzz already rotated over, Furia are about to run into DRX's stacked site. The execute begins. Furia drones up A main. Carlos smokes Garden. But ditches and peaks before the smoke booms and gets picked off by Buzz. Furia now have two cat, two A main. DRX have three players bunkered up on site. Players on the way through, three angles being held by rifles. They've got the range supremacy. Mako. Well, he is in a little bit of danger from wall banks. Realistically, he's got some utility coming his way as well. But he's holding strong for now. And he knows main is covered by his teammates, so that's never going to be a worry. 
At least one kill coming through, but one enemy not really remaining. anything to write home about again. Buzz able to shut them out. It's going to be the remaining player looking to push through onto RB. <laughs> and DRX cleanly take the round. Fury call a timeout. DRX just hit double digit rounds from Copium to Hopium. Is this comeback actually happening? DRX just need two more rounds for a chance to win in overtime. But this doesn't change the fact that Fury only need one more round to end it all. Now look at the economy. If Fury lose this round, they're going to be completely broke next round, giving DRX an actual high chance at bringing it into overtime. This is the final gun round of the half, the most important round in the game. Either Furio wins the game right now, or DRX wins this round, crippling Furio's economy going into overtime point. Furio opened with all 5 players be lobby. Their game plan is to show a lot of presence mid, make it seem like they're doing a heavy mid default. This will draw DRX's attention and resources towards mid and away from B. And Furio will catch DRX's B player off by surprise by all flooding in through B main. But look at DRX's opening setup. They're starting 3 towards B main and 2 towards A main. Mid and Cat are completely open. DRX want to start the round by getting early info in the mains. Buzz is opping, so DRX want to get him safely set up on the B main angle. What will happen when these two openings clash? Let's find out. The barriers drop, stacks Prowler's B main. This clears B main and lets Buzz inch forward with a zop. Zest throws out his Sova recon and it lands up high in B lobby. Fury actually whiffs on the recon and scans two players. No worries, the rest of the team didn't get scanned, so it's not the worst that could have happened. Meanwhile in mid, Fury had Jet Smoke Cat, Silver Recon mid, KO Flash and KO Knife Market, and Omen Smoke Gate. This is such a solid way to systematically clear, get info, and take control of mid. The stage has been set, mid presence established. Now, Fury want to regroup B main. They caution ping B main, they're aware that DRX could be pushed up. And Buzz is indeed pushed up, posted on the aggressive angle with a Zop. They were relaxed, they were loose, they were having a good time, and now they are stressed. They're using up all their timeouts. They've got two rounds to close this one out. Buzz gets the first pick. He repositions and posts up again. NZR drones up to push Buzz off the angle. Stax breaks the drone for Buzz and prowls up to get Buzz back on the angle. But Buzz doesn't want to be in a pre fireable spot. So he preps his dash and starts shifting into an off angle. Dash already activated the window wide open for him to dash back. He picks off Mazin. Fear have lost the B main battle. They cut their losses and rotate mid to look for an opening elsewhere. The important thing here is their opponents don't have a ton of money. This is their best chance to close it here and now. Two players walk up mid with a spike. N0 starts working cat alone, hoping to make some noise to draw DRX rotates towards A. They've lost their two heroes as well. The, the stars of the first half are gone. Like, these were the players that were absolutely decimating DRX not so long ago. Now trying to sell a bake into this ace. Like, the problem is it's just the ruses haven't been working at all. But DRX don't budge. NZR is saying, hey, A is strangely quiet. I think DRX are stacked B. Come A, come A. So Khalil starts bringing the spike towards A, while NZR silently walks onto A, looking to assassinate DRX's A anchor. The only thing that's dangerous is if he can maybe left. win this duel versus RB, but even still, look at where RB is currently watching towards. I feel like there's an expectation there that there can be players in these sort of positions that he spotted the gun barrel. RB takes down NZR. The rest of Fury are now stuck in the middle of nowhere with only 20 seconds left in the round. Stax pushes B main to take space, but Quick flicks around and snipes down Stax. With no time left and in a 2v4, Furia called to save their weapons. That was very unlike Furia to get picked off B main like that. Their plays are getting sloppier, cracks are starting to form. With the pressure at an all time high, it seems like Furia are officially tilted. This is insane. It's actually happening. DRX is one round away from taking this game into overtime. And it's looking mighty possible because Furia are on a force buy. DRX have won 7 rounds in a row. Can they make it in 8th? The barriers drop, RB knives tiles, stacks fade eyes B main. Furia dodges both the info utility. At the same time, Furia jet smokes cat, omen smoke archers, silver recon mid. Zest responds with his own recon mid, his recon sees nothing. Mazen kill knives tree, his knife only scans RB meaning Furia know DRX's op isn't posted cat. Both teams are pumping out util off the bat. Neither team want to make a mistake in this crucial round. Because Furia showed so much presence mid, Buzz immediately rotates towards A. But Furia keep playing it slow. They're waiting to catch DRX making a mistake. DRX have no info right now, so Zest Silver drones up mid. The drone sees nothing. Mako when we smoke A main. This allows him to safely hold A main for earlier info. Mako actually gets ambitious in positions in an off angle. Fury want to find out if DRX are using the smoke to aggressively hold A main control, or if they're using the smoke for fake pressure to stack somewhere else. So NZR creeps up and deploys the silver drone. 
This forces Mako back, and Mako responds with a deep Asher smoke. This deep smoke in A-Main lets defenders lurk in and out of wine. A-Main is not safe for Furia, but Furia keep calm. They call to cut all noise for a bit, and then end in an A split. But DRX are stacked towards A. This could be a disaster for Furia. RB kill knives A-Main. His knife sees nothing. Mazen kill knives market. Buzz is thinking, our knife saw nothing A-Main, and Furia just sniped the market. Our B is weak, and we have no one holding mid right now, so Buzz rotates off A. Exactly what Furia wanted. A gap has appeared in tree. If Furia can capitalize on this small window, it's going to be lights out for DRX. And they will! Furia recon tree, open blind garden. The execute begins. Players are having to fall back to watch mid. You've only got your two-man hold on this site. Hunter's fury through to try and oh. grab info, and the timing is great for Dejas in winning that fight at long last. But Fury is up 5v3. Fury, he barely avoided it. Just about stayed alive. Oh. RB though, he's putting Spike up the hold that DRX need. A 3v3, a 3v2. RB single-handedly keeping this team alive. The ace almost at hand. The shorty's out to try it. It's stolen <laughs> as this happens. That was DRX of it 24, and we're going to overtime. I cannot believe it. DRX actually brought it to overtime. From 4-12 to 12-12, DRX have done the impossible. But the job's not done yet. They've only just earned the chance at a comeback. Overtime is fair to all. The first team to take a two-round lead will win the match. Let's dive right in. DRX are on attack, Fury on defense. DRX open with 3B lobby and 2 top mid. They want to start off with a slow default. Fury open with a standard spread. 2 on each site, jet opping mid. They want to use their info utility towards a B side early on while having their op hold mid control. The round starts. Fury KO knives tiles and silver recons B main. The KO knife scans three players of DRX. In mid, Fury smokes off top mid while Digizen posts on tiles with his op. In just the first five seconds, Fury have gotten massive info on the B side of the map and took all of mid control. They are absolutely dominating the early game right now. DRX keep playing it slow. Their top mid players call that they're smoked off, so DRX know that Furia could technically be walked out mid. After the suppression wears off, Zest drones out mid. DRX want to take back mid control. RB kill knives market. Digits and dodges a knife. The early fight on mid. Now they're droning him out. He's just hearing that now. And, and Digizen also dodges a drone. DRX have no idea he's offing mid. At the same time, N0 counter drones in B main to figure out what DRX are up to. It didn't go over the wall. It didn't get the height that needed. The drone catches two players of DRX. With that info, Furia make a calculated guess that DRX are heavier towards the B side of the map. So Kala and Mazen both double up A main to aggressively push forward. Furia are relentless at taking map control. They aren't giving DRX any space to breathe. DRX smoke and recon close mid. Archers is clear. Stack Fade prowlers into B main and it latches onto quick. DRX know close mid is clear and they just showed presence B main. So they call to use their mid smoke as cover to cross mid and execute A through cat. The moment Digizen calls that he's been smoked off mid, Furia know that means DRX may be looking to do a cat hit. So Khalil one way smokes tree to delay the push. Furia know the majority of DRX are probably still around B main or mid, so they continue to carefully aggress A main. They were hoping for, and they've almost gone for the same aggression that Marco was playing off of them in the previous half. It is going to be won by Mazin. Huge pick by Mazin. Furia just cleared all of A main. Mazin's knife also scanned two cat. The jig is up. Furia know exactly what DRX are doing. DRX know that too, so they call to speed up their hit. If he's going to catch a couple of players, they know they're pushing short. Well, that made through as well. They're going right into Deejah's in hands, but he's only good for one. The further aggression, he thought that was the first guy, and the others were behind the nade, but no, now they're behind them, starting to make their way up and out of heaven. The flash about to come oh. through, and Khalil's been left unchecked. They were looking at main. They didn't think about under, and they'll regret that for the rest of this round, and it's not too long. And Furia take the first round of overtime. DRX are reminded of the iron wall that is Furia. This is the Furia that dominated DRX in the first half of the game. Furia call a timeout. They know that they're just one round away from glory. They need to make this chance count. Their coach coming in to guide them on the winning adaptation in this most crucial moment. Furia start with 4B lobby and 1 top mid. They realize mid control is the name of the game, they want to open with a solid mid default. Jet smoke cat, kill knife cat, open smoke mid, silver recon arches, then kill your turret B main. Get mid control, figure out where the op is, and go from there. That's Furia's game plan. But look at DRX's opening. Four players hugging the barriers B main and mid. RB has his KO flash out. DRX have stayed tamed the entire last half. Now with their back against the wall once again, in this crucial round in overtime, they finally decide to pull out a set play. Is he gonna dash forward? No. 
He is. He's going up and in. The flash is there, and he's got two. Buzz is still going. Another dash online to work with. He has the escape to play with, and he doesn't oh. even need it. Four for Buzz. Another phenomenal DRX round. This defense is unstoppable. There it is. This is what Furia were scared of during their entire attack half. DRX's famous aggressive set plays. NZR in a 1v3 tries his best to retrieve the spike, but eventually gets taken down by DRX's crossfire setup. DRX claw back, forcing the game into double overtime. DRX is back on attack, Fury on defense. Fury's defense have been constantly shutting down DRX this entire match. Can DRX figure out a way to conquer this wall? DRX open with everyone B lobby. After that satisfying last round, they realize that they just need to lean into what they do best, set plays. They want to keep it simple and execute a decisive B hit through B main. Fury opened with a 1-1-3 setup. They have a read that DRX are going to do a fast A split, so they have 3 stacked on A. But as we can see, they guess wrong. Poor Quick is about to get blown up by DRX's fast B hit. The barriers drop, Quick spams into B main with his Odin, and it actually does some damage to stacks in RB. And your Silver Recon tiles, the Recon sees nothing, and Quick's Killjoy turret sees nothing peeking B main. So Fear think their read was right, that DRX are gonna hit A. So Digizen posts up B main with his op, while Kalil and Mazen double up tree. But DRX is still sticking to their game plan. Stacks Prowlers into B main, the Prowler doesn't get immediately broken. This tells DRX that Fury's op is not B main, so they start walking up. 50 in there at the start, but they managed to sneak back around the corner, and we need to see a little bit more. Mazin wants more info, so he throws his kill knife B main. Holy shit, it scans all five players of DRX right as they're about to execute. Furia, like children on Christmas, instantly take as much map control as humanly possible. Mazin pushes spawn, Digizen pushes out mid. Color rotates to B to reinforce the site. DRX are now all suppressed and contained in B main. They know the dire situation they're in. Do they push forward and execute onto a stack site? Or do they invest time and resources to work back the rest of the map to challenge Furia when they could be posted literally anywhere? DRX are confident in their executes. They called it W key forward. A little bit closer. But, uh, yeah, there's way too much pressure now. That Odin's is countered out completely. The players are starting to close up in the alleyway. What can Quick really do about this? It's, it's a tough fight to take on this and the dash out. That causes more problems, but a good off angle for NCR. He's going to hold it on. Oh, no, he's being flashed. That was perfect timing. And RB follows up with the wall bang. This round might just be in DRX's hand. They might just have broken the curse of the attacking side that we've seen all map long. Mazin. Oh, I didn't get him. I didn't get him. The flash. Somehow, DRX managed to turn their dire situation around. They're up in the 5v2. They're not giving Furia anything to work off of. Eventually, when they're confident that Furia have no time to defuse, they leave the site to hunt down the remaining two players. First attacking round, there's absolutely nothing the remaining players can do about it. In fact, they don't even know what the plan was. Just pad the stats a little bit. Good save. <laughs> hey! <laughs> And for the first time in this entire match, DRX have the round lead. DRX are finally ahead. The comeback is actually happening. They just need one more round to complete the comeback. Can they pull it off? Fury open with everyone B lobby. They're doing the exact same thing DRX did last round. The call is to hard execute B. They're like, hey, if DRX can win a round by executing onto a stack site after every single one of them got KO scanned, then we can do it too. DRX open with a 2 1 2 setup. They have a read that Fury are gonna try something fast. They don't know which side Fury will hit though, and they don't feel like gambling. So Buzz is starting and spawn. This way, he has the fastest rotate to either sites. The barriers drop, Fury begin their execute. But after losing a map like this, well, let's see if it comes to that. They're picking up the pace already, Buzz. As said, the quietest man in the server in the first half has had a huge turnaround. The aggression of Digizin, I'd love to know his first blood stats since it went back to Josh early. I feel like they have changed drastically since the second half began. Fury used so much util on that site hit, and yet DRX successfully delayed them, picking off Digizin while doing so. Fury quickly realized that DRX have three players on B already. They call to work back the rest of the map. Since Fury had just cut noise, DRX want to figure out what they're up to. So Zest drones be main for info. So much utility expended in the early stages of the round. Mazin is out of pretty much all of his utility. Paranoia used already. All of Sova's utility used as well. Like, there is basically nothing left. They gambled everything on this B push. And so far, all they've done is get shot. Drone only saw Mazin and he manages to survive. Quick has worked up mid. Fury called a re-hit B. 
and your silver reruns mark it to clear it for quick. Maz and KO knives close to clear switch and logs. The knife only scans buzz. Keep in mind, DRX are still stacked on B. How will this rehit go? Fury with only 40 seconds on the clock, they need to make that move. The push attempted buzz damaged and forced back. He gets right back up onto that angle though. He's waiting, biding his time till they take contact with his teammates. 30 seconds. And that's left. his chance. Little info for him there as they cross over. Zest gets spammed through the CT smoke. Cautiously, Fury approach. They have so many players to deal with. One to one trades are okay. fantastic. They've got sight. They've got the plant. And DRX's B players get annihilated by Furia. 3v2 in favor of Furia. The last two DRX players regroup CT for the retake. They would commit back into the B side. So the other players are just so desperately far behind. The thing is, though, a lot of their defensive round came off of these clutches. Oh, B is just going to get headshot in the second he throws out. They both get spammed down through the smoke. Furia strike back, keeping this game alive. Match point slips away from DRX. They call a timeout. Both teams are exhausted beyond belief, but neither team will give up until they're the ones that take the victory. The score is tied up 14 to 14. Triple overtime begins. The barriers drop, DRX start off slow for the first few seconds. They want to work the map and figure out where Furious Op is. They smoke a knife cat. The knife sees nothing. Zest drones a mid while stacks fade prowlers be main. The drone sees nothing mid. The prowler gets broken at the choke. This tells DRX that mid is open and that Fury are most likely opping or playing heavier in the mains. So DRX run up mid to take the space. B main. We've seen it again and again. And this time, he's pushed back. So he's only keeping him at bay as well. Buzz draws first blood. DRX are in position to execute a B split. NZR deploys his drone for info. NZR being stuck in his drone is DRX's cue to push forward. The execute begins. Explode to Furia right away. Buzz wants to spur forward. He's at least destroyed the drone, taking the info out of their hands and really neutering this B play. They've got to go right back to the site. They're boxed in and Dijazin's missed the shot. A rarity and another ringing up shot with no kill on the other side. A disaster here for Furia as they lose all of their players on B. In DRX run Furia over. Khalil in a 1v4, can he make a miracle happen? Same risks that were paying off so massively when it came to regulation have just started to fail. I, I think a lot of that is Buzz warming up into the series. Like not able to connect his shots initially. Amar now, but he's in an impossible crossfire. It's not gonna happen. And DRX pull ahead. Match point for DRX. DRX are just one round away from closing this game out. From 4-12 to match point in triple overtime, can they finally complete this marathon of a comeback? Or will Furio find a way to outplay DRX to keep their hopes alive? Let's find out. Furio opened with a wide default. The B lobby players are set up to counter DRX's B lobby pinch. Digizen bought an op and is posted B main. Quick is supporting him from CT with an alarm bot tiles. They won't fall for the same set strat twice in a row. Furio want to start off by defaulting the mains and then decide what to do after. DRX opened with 3 A main. They want to catch Furia off guard by aggressing A main. Will Furia's default catch his play before it's too late? The barriers drop, RB kill knives close. The knife detects nothing. Earlier down on mid, DRX planned their whole defensive area. round on that mid push. Super solid from Furia. Mazen pop flashes A main, stopping DRX in their tracks. And Zero then silver recons right as Mazen's kill knife lands, completely pushing DRX out of A main. DRX manages to avoid the util, but lose a main control. In response, Mako smokes deep a main, forcing Fury to have to re-clear wine again if they want to hit A through a main. Meanwhile, Kalos smokes arches. Zest just lost all info in mid, so he recons mid in response. His recon sees nothing. DRX no Fury could have dodged the recon if the close cat already, so Buzz shifts to tree to pick up cat. To recap, Fury just showed a ton of presence a main and smoked off arches. They're really making this look like an A split. Since Furia assumed DRX are shifted towards A, their B main players start working a B main. Quick kill you towards B main. The turret doesn't trigger, so Furia know DRX's op isn't posted B main. This allows Digizen to safely get posted on the angle with his op. Furia have B main control. Two players of Furia rotate towards B. They are calling to end B with Sova faking A. But Stax's spidey senses are tingling. He fade prowls B main for info. The prowler detects nothing. Plus, Quick just took his Killjoy turret away, making it seem like he left B main. This is perfect. Furia are about to execute on DRX's weak sight. Kalil Omen smokes tree, ends your Silver Jones A main. The fake begins. Four players of Furia walk up B main. This is so good. Only one DRX player on site, the other in CT. The players backed out towards spawn. That reveal, well, it's actually drawn a couple of shots out of them. 
Doxess to 36. He's almost gone oh! down, but instead he stays alive to at least grab a kill. Maybe even a little bit more. That's a solid start for DRX. Oh! What's that bug play from NZR? <laughs> Just holding the top of mid, he manages to catch out Marco. That's a lot of the utility left. gone, but look at the rotation. They're already within the site. Almost a little bit confused. The spike oh, is on the down. deck. It's left now to Digison, and NZR still rotating. He hasn't made it to the site yet, and they're just running out of time. That 1v1 not working, and NZR. 15 seconds, so oh, many players God. still to oh, find. God. He needs an utter miracle, and there is no hope. DRX from 12-4 down. They oh, are going to be closing this one out. There is nothing he can do. They've done it. DRX complete the legendary comeback.